Is marijuana's popularity as a dietary staple, a medicine, and even the very plant from which clothing is made grew, China came to be known as the land of hemp and mulberry. Mulberries are high in protein, iron, vitamins, and minerals, just like cannabis. So it's no wonder that the two were both revered in this similar way. But while the earliest recorded history of cannabis comes from China, it is known to have been widely distributed in the fertile soil along the rivers of the ancient world. Along the banks of these great rivers, like the Yellow River in China, the Tigris and Euphrates in Mesopotamia, the Indus in India, and perhaps even the Nile in Egypt, civilization began to sprout up as well. And while it's unclear how exactly this knowledge of cannabis's medicinal and psychoactive properties spread, some evidence points to nomadic tribes emerging from the steppes of Central Asia, such as the Yamnaya, who also may have been responsible for the Kurgan burial mounds found throughout the region. Historians believe that these tribal groups of the Caucasus region helped to advance trade across Asia and Europe well before the Silk Road, spreading the wheel, horse domestication, and many other technologies of the time. Some subset of these tribes, who called themselves the Aryans, migrated from the north into what is now India, eventually merging with the people who had already inhabited the region, developing the prototypical Indo-Aryan language and culture in the process. From this culture, Indian and Iranian cultures, among many others, would ultimately be born. This protoculture was also responsible for the invention of one of the earliest written languages, Sanskrit. Some of the earliest Sanskrit texts, the Vedas meaning knowledge, are still in existence today. These texts are the basis of our knowledge of ancient Indian history, as well as spirituality being important religious texts for both Zoroastrian and Hindu faiths. Cannabis, or bang, as it is called in India, is mentioned as one of five sacred plants in the fourth Veda, 